Hi, I'm Jadi and welcome back to our Elpic lessons. Long time no see. I grow a beard during these months because every Linux or Unix guru should have a beard. So we are here. Let's continue. I will talk about why I was not here later, maybe. Anyway, let's continue with 1037. Search text file using regular expressions very 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 important uh topic and hugely vast area to speak about so we can just get ourselves familiar with regular regular expressions or regexes we know this in computer world as regex as i said it's very important the way it used to be two now it is three and you should be able to manipulate text files or search through them using regexes includes creating simple regular expressions understanding difference between basic and extended ex regular expressions and you should be able to use some related tools mainly we will speak about grep and its family members like egrep and fgrep and we will talk about set you've already seen it but we will see it in a little bit more in more depth and also seeing how you can use regexes in set and you will know the concept of regex i will start with describing the general idea behind regexes what it is how you can use them and then we will go and understand how you can use them in a linux world using grep command so in the beginning i will just speak about regexes there are different files oh sorry sites to help you on this uh, one i'm going to use is regex101.com if you search for online regex you will find lots and lots of files this file lets you try your regex practice it or check what your regex is doing and these kind of stuff as always i have some files here in this directory and one i'm going to use is phone list phone list it's an email list it's not a phone list funny uh, i will copy it here when i say you can practice it you can have your test string here and give something to it for example i give it a a says okay i'm a regex guru so if your regex is a in this file i found this 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 so regex here matches what it can find a is a very simple example you can go with ja it says okay if you are searching for ja i found a few one is here another is here another is here hmm this is cool but this is, looks like a simple search what regex does is better you have some specific characters for example a dot will have the meaning of any possible character so i'm saying match whatever you can any character so it matches all the characters but i can say match a any character after it, it says okay i found a few a i'm saying match 1a whatever character another a so it finds this one and this one this is how regex starts to get more complicated and more helpful at the same time you have to know something some special characters in regexes for example this dot can mean any character a plus sign will mean one or more so if i say a plus it will match a it will match a a it will match a a a if i say b star 
it will mean that zero or more so i can say match b match bb match bbb or even if there if there is nothing still match it because this is zero or more let's try another thing i want to match all these dates how can i match them there are four words and in both sides there is a comma sign so i can go with comma one two three four comma match anything which starts with a comma then it has uh four whatever and then it has another comma in this specific case it works because we don't have any other thing with this uh pattern but this is not a great one anyway i can say instead of this match anything four times so it means four of this you can also do match a four times why is that this ugly a four times so you say this equals to matching this you can say a three two four or a three to ten this will match one three a four a five a till ten a's so when i say a plus practically i'm saying a one to uh infinity when i say a star what i mean is a zero to infinity and there is another one which is a question mark which means a zero or one only zero or one what's the concept of this zero it's a little bit strange uh i can say find all the a's and then something then i it will find all of these i can say find all the a's then something any number of something zero or more so this matched a something and then i anything zero or more please remember regex says are greedy by nature they will try to match the largest thing they can they won't match a d i they will match a anything they can and then i also this will match this a i in gmail because you say a whatever zero or more so zero anything then i so this matched this two i could do this and it won't match this one because this means this uh, means a anything one or more of that so this will work this will work a anything one or more till i but this won't work because there is nothing here so i need at least one character here don't get confused this means any character this means zero or more this means one or more this means zero or one so it can be added to other characters then what we covered is three to ten this means whatever i have here i need three z's or ten z's whatever you pronounce it there are other fun things too for example we have this as a start of the string uh, line and we have this as the end of the line so if i use this cut carrot or something like this add dollar sign i can say match anything with an s in it i need only s's which are at the beginning match anything with m i need m only when it's in the end of the string this is how it works so if you want to say i need to start with an s and i need whatever in the middle then finish with a m this will match it or you say i need 
the end of the line to be n says okay i don't have any we are just matching things let's go back to our lessons see what else we have we covered these i will show you how you can go further also there is an or here match a or b so you can say i need one of these two or you have character classes you saw the dot but we also have this style i need a b or c here i need one of these so with square brackets you can say i need only one of these and since this is highly used or you can say a to z or you can say a to z for sure regex is case sensitive practically everything is because we used a lot of these there are some shortcuts for this for example we have one shortcut in our range which is al num alphanumeric characters so if i want to point to all the alphanumeric characters a to z a to z zero to nine i can write like this i want this group alpha numeric group so i'm showing that i need all of these or there is blank which is spaces tabs and like there is digits which points to digits upper and lower and you have the negation uh, sign you can say everything ex ex except a b and c other than a b c will match this pattern so z will match this pattern okay and also there are some other shortcuts for example this is for digits if you want to match a digit you can easily use this one instead of this class let me show you as a another sample i want to find all the digits ah sorry what i did i want to find all the digits here you have a text file you want to separate all the digits if i do this what happened ah this can be different matches a digit so why it's not working ah because i have selection there this digit will match all of this but see what is happening i'm matching digits separately i want the whole number so i can say whenever you have digits one or more digits give them to me it says okay i matched this i match this match this match this easier way to match all the digits clearly if i go with this the result will be wrong because i want to digit zero or more so i'm matching other things too anyway this is another way to match digits i want to see all the usernames what should i do i have to say i need a comma then whatever character one or more till you reach the at sign but regexes are greedy so this is matching the whole thing as you can see i'm matching the whole thing i just want this side what should i do i can say okay check this but only give me this still not good so i have to say okay some digits are here is okay when you have a parenthesis i can separate things from each other so i'm matching the whole thing with blue this is it and i'm separating this part which is this which is this which is this this and this so this way i can check all the uh usernames if you wanted to check what providers people are using i would say okay there is something here whatever is here and then i want to match till the dot itself so i'm escaping it and i need this part 
as you can see, this can become kind of confusing. It's difficult to read regexes. If you are right, reading a script or code and you reach to this, it's difficult to read it. But practically understanding it is not difficult. This is matching this part. Or you can change this part with that part or whatever in your programming. In this session, you only need to understand this, that how this is working and be able to write some basic ones. Uh, you know about the curve. This one matches the beginning. Here it was negating when speaking in groups. This is matches the last part. So for example, you will know that if you reach this, practically you are saying I want to match whatever line starts with curve, with A, then whatever is there. Then I need some digits, then whatever, B and end of the line. So I need all the lines who start, which start with A, whatever, there is at least one number here, and then finishes with B. When you know your regexes, I will show you how to get a better understanding of regexes, we can go to the grep command. Grep works like this. Grep this regex in these files. So if I there is a cool file in all Linux systems, in most Linux systems. It is in ls user. Uh, I think this is not user, this is something else, but anyway, user. Share uh, dict. You have some files here, like words. If you check the line number or head, you see, these are all the English words. Or you can do a uh, WC-L. More than 100,000 English words are here. Also, you have the American English. And you have the words. You have British English. You have some crack lip for some cracking and those kind of stuff. So, you can grab... They give me all the lines which has funk in them. It says, okay, English words list contain these words with funk. How many do I have? So I say, okay, grab, please give me the count. Or you can write, practically you are writing regexes here. So you can say, I need all the words with J, then whatever, whatever, A. Give me all the words with this pattern. So it's okay, these are the words with that pattern. For example, jihad, J, whatever, whatever, A. Or pajamas, J, whatever, whatever, A. You can check for different patterns using regexes here. This is the power of grep. So for example, you can do another cool grep. Say, I want to see which configuration files do have this IP address in them. So all the configurations are here. I you can do a dash R. This will do a recursive grep. So practically it will go to this directory. We'll check all the files here and all the subdirectories. We'll return back whatever which has this pattern in it. So I will run this to see the results. I've got lots of permission denied. Logical. What happened? Lots of permission denied. Logical. Because my user doesn't have access to that, those ones. So I will say, send all the errors to dev node. It says, okay, I have these files. If you aren't wanted to only see the files with this error, with this pattern in them, I would say, okay, also list them. It will show only the name of the files and lots of other possibilities this is how grep works the most you mostly used switches are dash c for count so for example you have an attack on your server you find the attacker's ip you want to see how many requests they made to your server you do a grep dash c for that ip address in your log file will count how many you had or 
cooler things if you uh, watch my videos i have lots of samples like this one dash v will reverse the search please take a better look dash v in many commands is version in grep it reverses the search take a note about this dash n will show line numbers which line number had this dash l will list the files dash i makes it case insensitive this is very important you are searching for jody you are not sure if it's like this or if it's like this so you grab with dash i to make sure that you are looking for both and dash r read all files under each directory recursively it's very common to search your file system using dash r with grab oh <coughs> uh, i've showed you these switches it's important to know the difference between basic regex basic grep and extended grep this is partly historical the unix gurus invented regex wrote the grep command but during time other people came up with more advanced regexes so they said for example you can use this you can use that blah blah i need a better regex command for this one so we have different dialects of regex different versions of regexes grep uses basic regex there is one switch with dash e which uses extended grep so when you are using extended grep you have more possibilities to work with this and in many cases you don't need much escaping grep will understand what you're writing like a normal regex you know in programming so if you want to use that you have to go with grep dash e your regex where to search because this is used a lot uh there is one command which is e grep which is equivalent with running this even if there is a ah uh, sorry no if even there is a p grep which is regex dash p which runs per version of regex if you have a look at the site i showed you here you can see that when i'm writing my regex it says okay i'm using this specific flavor dialect of regex pcre2 which is run on php blah blah you can use another python's regex golang java.net different dialects of the regex but the, what we spoke about is kind of the same but if you run a regex it was not working always try to running it with egrep which is extended grep there is also one which is f grep grep dash f or f grep is a fixed grep so for example if you want to search for this with a dollar sign normally you have to escape this because this has a meaning in regex but when you are using f grep you can just give it a string and it will search this string in these sources for you which is much easier and also we have this possibility to use grep in the set command we saw set i think in previous session set you can say change i a with b and in this file and it will read the file will change a, all a's to b's and will show you the results or you can do with dash n so set won't show the results you can say print it or whatever the uh, uh, whatever way you are working but the point is there is one switch which is dash r you can say set I have an example here set dash r so i need to use regexes replace this with this and because you have dash r this will be interpreted interpreted as regex so practically i'm saying here change all the capital z capital r and capital j to starts with z r j this is very good because you can do magic with set because it understands regexes so you can for example uh find all the emails in one file you can check all the lines with this specific pattern or whatever you want to do regex is very huge concept and it's uh 
very 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 time consuming to read to understand so many people just rewrite their regexes or try when they see a bug in it it's very difficult to debug don't get demotivated if you uh, were confused i have another video know your regex solving wordle challenges with regexes i'm introducing more regexes we do some games with it you may like this to go further but you know enough for your exam hopefully have fun i think we covered everything we needed yes now i'm sure and that was it